Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and we're gonna be doing some gimmick puppet test hand. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your Patreon. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So this deck is a super fun OTK deck that plays with a lot of dark machine monsters. This deck is really fun to be able to play with because you can make all sorts of really cool XZ monsters, which is just amazing about this deck. And you can even rank up your monsters into Chaos XZ monsters, which is amazing to be able to do. This deck really likes going second and is actually a going second build of gimmick puppets because I feel like that's the best way to build this deck. But we're going to go ahead and pop pile shuffle the deck because you guys know it's dad rule number one that you've got to pile shuffle the deck or you run the risk of breaking but this deck is amazing to be able to play because you make multiple XZ monsters in a single turn and with this test hand video we're actually going to be doing going first test hands and going second test hands because we have some really amazing plays to show you guys how you can otk with this deck so now that we got the deck shuffled, let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test hand. If you guys would like to check out the deck profile, as always, for every test hand video, it is down in the description down below. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we're going to go ahead and draw into a copy of Humpty Dumpty. That's not too bad for a normal summon. A copy of Bisk Doll. That's great because that card can special summon, summon itself from the hand. Limit removal to OTK with. A copy of the Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. And a copy of Rank Up Magic Urgent Chaos Force. Which is pretty good to be able to set up your first play. Now if we were going second for this particular hand. We would draw into a copy of Junk Puppet. Which would be pretty interesting to be able to do. Because you can actually get an XZ monster on your side of the field to OTK. So with this hand I'm actually going to go second and show you guys exactly what you can do with this particular hand going second. So what we're going to do is normal summon out our copy of Humpty Dumpty and use its ability to be able to special summon out your copy of Bisque Doll. Now the reason that I did that instead of just using Bisque Doll's effect is because I want two monsters on the field so I can make our Link monster which is important to be able to make in this particular scenario because we do have a way to bring back the copy of Bisque Doll and we'll get two gimmick puppets in the graveyard for the card I'm going to send to the graveyard. So at this point we're going to go ahead and link these two monsters away to summon out a copy of the gimmick puppet uh, Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll is very important to be able to summon out to your side of the field with this particular play. Is it has the ability during your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can activate this effect that you can take a Gimmick Puppet Monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send to the grave. And then if all mods you control are Gimmick Puppet Monsters minimum one, including this card, you can special summon a Gimmick Puppet Monster from your hand, which is a great ability to instantly get us a copy of a Gimmick Puppet Monster on the field. It's basically like an E-Telly, which is really cool for the deck. So at this point, what we're going to summon is a copy of Dreary Doll to our side of the field. We're going to add it to her hand. You can send it to the graveyard if you want to, because you can banish Humpty Dumpty. So it doesn't really matter which way you go with it. But we're going to go ahead and just special summon it out to our side of the field, since we do control a gimmick puppet monster. At this point, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of Junk Puppet, which is important to be able to do. I love this card. This card is so good. But we're going to go ahead and activate Junk Puppet to be able to special summon out Bisque Doll to our side of the field. And if we are going second with this particular hand, you can actually do a really crazy play. And this is actually my favorite play in the deck. So we're going to go ahead and overlay both of these on our side of the field to make number 40. And the number 40 will go off and detach your copy of Bisque Doll to be able to use its effect. And once you use its effect, you'll actually put string counters on every monster on the field, which is really cool to be able to do because it just like puts the string counters on them. And during your opponent's next end phase, you destroy all the monsters on the field that have string counters and inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each each monster destroy but it's not going to make it that far you're just going to otk at this point so what you're going to do at this point is everything's going to get a string counter we're just going to say that this gets it besides the copy of number 40 but at this point what you can do is you have two choices you can go ahead and rank up now if your opponent doesn't have a monster we can destroy by battle or you can swing first and then during the battle phase rank it up and then go into your play which we're just going to say that they have something small enough that we can swing into so that we can basically win the game so we're going to say they have something with like 1500 attack points so we're going to swing in to the monster with 1500 attack points destroy it by battle and once we do we're going to they're going to take like 1500 points of damage just hypothetically and once we do we're going to activate the copy of the rank up magic spell and once we do that 
you can actually rank this card up into a copy of number C40. C40 will destroy everything on the field that has a copy of a string counter, and the, the uh, monsters that are in the graveyard, this card will actually inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster with the highest original attack points, which is great. So for example, let's say that we had a 1500 attack point monster on the field, they've now lost like 3000 life points, but it doesn't even matter because at this point, you have limit removal to double this card's attack points all the way up to 6,300 or 6,600, excuse me. And then you swing directly for 6,600, which is usually going to end the game. Even if you just destroyed this and you didn't inflict the initial damage with this card, these two together will do the perfect amount of damage, which is just really cool because this card has a really insane ability. Plus when the cards are destroyed, you actually get to draw a card, but that doesn't really come up all that often unless you draw into like another limiter removal. But it's really cool because it has the ability when this card is special summon, destroy monsters with string counters. And if you do draw a card, then inflict damage to your opponent, equal a higher attack, original attack among the destroyed monsters in the graveyard, your choice. Since we don't have any monsters on the opponent's side of the field that we can see, we're just gonna say that it was 1500 with the copy of Chimera Doll to be able to OTK because this would actually be 8,100 to finish out the game, which is crazy. That just between these two cards, you can basically win the game. That's actually one of my favorite plays in the entire deck because you can do some really cool stuff. If we did go to a follow-up turn, we would draw on a Humpty Dumpty and we could kind of do the same thing again because you could normal this, special this, and then use the ability of your bisque doll in the graveyard or just bring it out and link these into chimera and then you do basically the same thing that we did before which is really cool how like consistent it is to pull off that combo because you could like link these for another chimera doll add another level eight to hand special it to your side of the field then use this banish the copy of the humpty dumpty bring it to your side of the field you'd have another level eight another chimera doll overlay them again use the effect of your um your uh, number 40 to be able to detach with string counters on it and then rank it up again to be able to OTK again, which is insane. Like I love that about this deck that it's just that consistent to be able to do that play going second. And that's just so fun to be able to do. And I love that about your copy of Dreary Doll that you can just banish a gimmick puppet from the graveyard to special summon it back to your side of the field, which is just really, really cool. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the hand or let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and draw another test hand and see what we can do for our next one because this deck is really fun to be able to like play with because OTKing is just really cool. So this next one, we're gonna do a going first test hand to be able to show you guys what the deck can do. It doesn't establish crazy boards going first like that, but it's really good to be able to just OTK your opponent going second with this particular build, which is easy to do because even if you like lose the coin toss, the majority of the time your opponent's gonna make you go second. And then if you win the coin toss or the die roll, you're just gonna go first or you're gonna go second second like it doesn't matter you're going to say hey i want to go second so it doesn't matter you're probably going to go second with the deck anyways which is really cool so let's go ahead and draw we're going to draw to a lightning storm a copy of limiter removal another limiter removal this is a going second otk hand if i've ever seen it a copy of the machine dupe and a copy of the terror baby so this is a very very much going second hand and the funny thing is we can actually make this go up to like 2000 attack points and have three of them on the field and that could be how you otk the opponent that's hilarious because you can machine dupe it bring out two of them drop double limit removal and then drop lightning storm and go in for like 6000 with this which hands down is to me the creepiest card ever created and comment down below what you guys think is the creepiest card ever this is like this is it for me so Let's go ahead and see, just for curiosity, what we draw going second. It'll be a copy of the Therion King Regulus, which would extend your plays a little bit, but it wouldn't help us like OTK. So for this particular hand, you're not going to go that far with it, but we're going to go ahead and normal summon out the copy of the Terror Baby. We're going to activate the copy of Machine Duplication because it does have 500 attack points to special summon out two more copies. And at this point, your opponent's probably going to scoop because uh, you're playing three of the creepiest card on the field. And you can just make some very simple plays at this point, because what we're going to do is overlay both of these on our side of the field, or you can link them away if you want to, probably link them away um, to be able to summon out the copy of the Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll doesn't lock you into the main deck, it just locks you into the extra deck, because it can, makes it so that you can only summon uh, Machine XZ monsters, which is not that big of a deal. 
because you're going to be able to just basically put monsters on the field. So what we're going to do at this point is we're actually going to add a level four because we want to make a rank four play. So we're going to add a copy of our Humpty Dumpty from our deck to our hand because we don't have any other level fours in the deck. We just play the six level fours in the build. And if you guys, again, would like to check out the deck profile, it is down in the description down below. So at this point, we're just going to special summon out the copy of Humpty Dumpty since we do control a gimmick puppet monster and overlay both of these on our side of the field to make a really cool tech card, actually, to be able to summon out Mary May which is a really cool Spriggans card because what you're going to do is immediately rank up on top of this card into a copy of Champion Sargus. Champion Sargus is really good in this particular situation because what you're going to do with the Champion Sargus is use its ability to be able to add a copy of the Therion King Regulus from deck to hand. Now, once you do, we are locked out of the extra deck from summoning anything but machines, but we're not locked out of the main from special summoning monsters to our side of the field. So we're just going to go ahead and use the ability that shouldn't be banished. We're going to use the ability to special summon out the copy of the Theory on King Regulus and attach the copy of the Terror Baby to it, which is going to give us a negate and another monster on the field with two limit removals for the follow-up play to be able to OTK. This is like really good. So we have a negate on the field to be able to stop our opponent from hitting us with like crazy plays. Um, this card is basically just going to search Therions, which is really cool to be able to search a copy of Therion King Regulus. This is follow-up play for the next turn, because if it's on your side of the field, you get those plays. And then we're going to go ahead and pass over the opponent. We can use this to be able to negate. We can basically just let them do what they want to do. If they don't deal with the field, we're going to draw into a copy of Condolence Doll, which is going to send an additional gimmick puppet from deck to grave. But you just, to, you just have this. Like, this just finishes everything off because you're just going to double the attack of both of these twice and then OTK. Like it's going to be over 10,000 attack points that both of these are going to have. And this card on its own is going to be at 6,000 to be able to OTK. Plus you can use condolence to all to send additional ones to the grave. And even if they deal with the whole field, you have lightning storm. You can just lightning storm their whole field away and be able to kind of level the playing ground, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for another test hand because this deck is fun as you guys can see it can go first and it can go second which is really cool something to keep in mind though as you're playing the deck one of the only cards that has kind of a restriction on it to be able to not summon um is dreary doll dreary doll has to be used uh this card has to be used to summon out gimmick puppet monsters that are eggsies so that's something to keep in mind about this card that you cannot use this card to be able to summon out anything because we do play cards like dingirsu that's a machine dark and you might look at that card and go oh i can make that with dreary doll you cannot which is very unfortunate but uh there is other plays that you can use in the deck like gizmek orochi stuff like bisque doll there's like other plays that you can go into but it's just too good of a card with machine duplication not to play so let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for our next test hands we're going to shuffle it up really good and we're going to see what we can do so we're going to go ahead and draw and we're going to go one which is the copy of the dreary doll you know we were just talking about it the copy of the Humpty Dumpty, a copy of Condolence Doll, a copy of Machine Duplication, and a copy of Gear Changers. This could be going first or going second. You don't even really need the Condolence Puppet in the hand. I always call this car Condolence Doll, but um, we, we don't even really need it. Like We, we have so many other plays because we're not going to send anything really to the graveyard that really matters. We're just going to try and get the copy of the... Um, machine duplication to go off so what we're going to do is normal summon out the copy of humpty dumpty that lets a special summon from our hand the copy of the jury doll to our side of the field and once we do we're going to use the copy of the machine duplication on our copy of jury doll to special summon out two more copies of jury doll which is really good just to immediately get another copy like two more copies of jury doll because it guarantees you a rank eight play but Keep in mind, as you're playing this card, you can only make gimmick puppet monsters that are XZs using this card if you're going to XZ summon. So that's something to keep in mind about your copies of this card. So at this point, you can activate the condolence puppet if you want to. You don't need to, but we're going to go ahead and link these two away. Summon out the copy of the Chimera Doll. Chimera Doll is going to let us add one from deck to ham and then special one from our hand, which is pretty cool to be able to do. You can add cards like Gear Changer if you want to add Gear Changer. But we can just add cards like Bisque Doll if we want to add something like a Bisque Doll because we're already set up and we can make two XZs this way. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to use the ability 
of our, um, we're going to use the ability of our copy of the Chimera Doll to special summon a monster from the hand. It can be either of these. This just can't be special summon from the deck. This can be special summon from anywhere. So we're just going to special summon this card out to our side of the field. Use the ability of our Humpty Dumpty, or not Humpty Dumpty, Dreary Doll to banish it from the graveyard to special summon it back. And now we can make two Gimmick Puppet XZ monsters. Unfortunately, we can't make this because it's not a Gimmick Puppet, but you can make cards like this which is your copy of your gimmick puppet of strings. And you can make something like a copy of your giant grinder as well, because both of these are just really good XZ monsters overall. The fun thing is, is you can technically make Leo. If you want to make Leo with that field, which is this card, you can make it. It's a little tough to pull off its win condition, but it is a win condition. So you can summon it to your side of the field if you want to attempt the win condition, because we did have four on the field. If you want to go that play, you get a little bit more value this way, but you can go for that play instead if you want to. But I feel like this is the best option to be able to go for. Plus the copy of the gear changer is in the hand for follow-up. So if you can get another copy of Drury Doll on the field, you can just normal summon this and copy the level to be able to get another monster that's a gimmick puppet on your side of the field, which is pretty good. So at this point, we're just going to pass over the opponent and let them do their thing. And we're going to go ahead and draw for our next turn, which is going to be another copy of Gear Changer. And we can go in for other plays like detaching our copy of our uh, Dree Doll from our uh, copy of their Gimmick Puppet of Strings to be able to put multiple string counters on cards. We can normal summon out our copy of Gear Changer. Since we have our copy of Condolence Puppet, we can be able to use that now to be able to send a copy of a Gimmick Puppet to the graveyard because it's like a Foolish Burial. We can go ahead and banish our copy of the Magnet Doll. It doesn't even matter what we sent. Copy this card, copy the level, overlay both of these. Keep in mind, again, you can only make Gimmick Puppet monsters, make a copy of Gimmick Puppet of Strings, use this, pop monsters on the field, clear the way, and just swing with these directly, which is really cool. So you have some good follow-up plays in this particular deck, and I like that about this deck. And it's really fun to be able to just make those really good boards. And it's super fun. Like, this deck is actually really fun to be able to play, because it's it's pretty simple what it's trying to do. You're just trying to make, like, a bunch of rank 8s, an OTK which is really nice. And the theory on cards just make it a little bit better. And cards like Gizmek Orochi, which is this card, because it's a level eight machine, it just helps out a lot as a tech card to be able to banish eight and special summon it, which is just really cool. Um, but you have some really neat plays in the deck to be able to pull off to get those level eights on your side of the field so that you can summon out your Eggsy monsters. And one of the main plays that you want to go for as you're playing this deck is the Chimera Doll to be able to set up. So let's go and do one more as a going second test hand. Because as you guys see, this deck just does better going second. Like it's not bad going first, but it does a lot better going second because you're trying to OTK. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw and do a copy of your Jury Doll. A copy of Gizmek Orochi, another copy of Drew Doll. We probably should have pile shuffled. Um, yeah, we definitely should pile shuffle. <laughs> we should definitely pile shuffle. That was terrible. Um, let's go ahead and do that one time because we were not going to be able to play with that hand at all because we had the three copies of Drew Doll in our hands. This is going to be our last one to be able to go second, and we're just going to see what we can do going second with this with this deck because as you guys can see, it's very easy to make X Z plays with this build, but. It's also very difficult because if you go first, sometimes you get locked into just gimmick puppets and they don't do much during your opponent's turn outside of your copy of your Leo, which is a win condition. And if your opponent can't deal with it, you win pretty much, but it takes like three turns to do it. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw into a copy of the Rank Up Magic. This is going second, the Rion King Regulus, a copy of the Terror Baby. A copy of another Terra Baby. Another... What happened? We pile shuffled. You guys saw that. Okay, so going second, we're going to draw a new limit removal. So this is another one of those weird hands that you can't do anything with because you just basically have three copies of Terra Baby that you can't summon to your side of the field. And this is very rare, but it's happened twice, which is odd. But let's go ahead and shuffle it one last time and make sure that we don't brick with our last test hand. But it does happen. I mean, with rogue decks like this that are just kind of weird, it happens sometimes. And you guys saw me pile shuffle it. You guys saw me shuffle it. That was just completely weird that we drew three Drew Dolls in one hand and then three Terror Babies in another. That's like kind of creepy like this deck. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for our last one. So we're going to go ahead and draw Machine Dupe, a copy of the Rank Up Magic, a copy of Condolence Puppet that helps us get something in Grave, Humpty Dumpty, and a Lightning Storm. And if we're going second, 
a copy of Dree Doll. This is much better. So this is much, much better to be able to go in because we have the copy of the Lightning Storm that we can drop. You can even drop Condolence Puppet and then dump multiple to the graveyard, but make sure you don't dump the copy of the Dree Doll because you don't want to send Dree Doll to the graveyard because you're going to be able to machine dupe it out anyways. So we're just going to send something like a copy of the Bisque and maybe a Terror Baby because you can banish both of them to be able to get plays, which is really nice. The reason I say two is just like assuming that the opponent has at least one special summon monster on the field that we can just immediately use with the Condolence Puppet. So at this point, you can activate the copy of Lightning Storm, destroy their monsters or their back row. Totally up to you. Probably the back row. Uh, normal summon out the copy of the Humpty Dumpty, special summon out your copy of your uh, Drury Doll, activate Machine Dupe, copy the level, or not copy the level, but special summon two more monsters to your side of the field, thinking of Gear Changer. Um, we're then going to special summon out two more copies of the Drury Doll to our side of the field, which then at this point, if you want to overlay them, you can, because it's going to get you even further and more monsters on the field. So we're going to go ahead or XZ summon later and then make a link monster now. So we're going to make this now and we're going to go ahead and add Bisque Doll to hand, special summon the Bisque Doll to the field. And then we're going to use the copy of the Dree Doll in the graveyard to banish our copy of Humpty Dumpty, special summon it back to our side of the field. And now we have three or at least two rank eight plays that we can go into. We're going to make this. We're going to detach a material from it. And once we do, we're going to use its ability to be able to put string counters on everything. But make sure that you remember to banish both of these from the graveyard. Because this card actually makes it so that your opponent cannot um, activate cards in response to your gimmick puppets. And then this one has the ability that it makes it that you're, you can banish Scar from your graveyard and your opponent got a target gimmick puppets. You control what card effects this turn. So you get a lot of protection to make sure your OTK is going to go through. So we're going to make this first. And then we're going to overlay both of these. And this new monster will not have string counters on it. The first monster will, which is this, but the second one will not, which is really cool to be able to do. So at this point, what we're going to make is another copy of Gimmick Puppet of Strings because this is the best option in our extra deck that is a Gimmick Puppet monster for attack points. And then at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to swing for 3k and then we're going to rank it up into the dark strings and destroy every monster on the field that has uh, a string counter on it. And then once we do, we're going to do at least 1500 points of damage with that one. And then we're going to do 33 and we're going to do another 3k directly because that just clears the board, which is really cool. Because we also drop the lightning storm for back row. And then this is just going to do burn damage on top of it. So this together is 63. And then the burn damage from this would be 15 on the 63, which would be about 7,800, which is kind of neat to be able to do that much. If your opponent has anything that's big on the field, you can just basically use this to be able to destroy it, which is really nice. Plus, when this card does destroy something, you get to draw a card, which could be, which it wasn't, but it could be limiter removal that you draw that we play as a three of, and then you can drop this and then go back in for 66 and 6,000, which does happen a lot when I play this deck, which is funny. So, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, this deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Gimmick Puppets before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's really fun. Like, this deck makes rank 8s like crazy, as you guys can see. The minimum you're usually going to make is at least one. Uh, usually, you make two in a turn, as you guys have seen. But, again, if you're going to play this deck, make sure that you're trying to go second because this is more of a going second build. Um, and it just works a lot better. You can go first with the Gimmick Puppet Trap card, but I feel like this is the best way to play the deck. I feel like it's just a little bit too slow to OTK your opponent because they get established and you're trying to go first, which puts more bricks in the deck. So if you just play it like this, like an OTK limit removal build, I feel like it's a lot better to OTK this way than it is the other way where you're like setting up with trap cards, with trap trick and the uh, Gimmick Puppet Trap card that swarms the field. And then going this way is just, it feels a lot smoother and streamlined to be exactly what you want so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys